Did you get bitten by something like this? Tell me about uh, animal no, bites. No, I got bitten by a, a moray. Okay. A moray eel because uh, when you're looking for lobster, you're going to stick your hand into a hole. And many times they live very side by side with, with the, the, the moray and the lobster live side by side. And the best way to find out if there's a moray in that hole is stick your hand in there looking for the lobster and he clamps down, right? So uh, you, you got a gloved hand, right? Or is this like, you know, when people go noodling for catfish and you just... Never, I've done that too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just no, stick your hand I, in there, go for it. I almost never wear gloves. Really? Yeah. I just don't, I, my hands don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know. But uh, when you stick your hand, it, when, you, when the, the uh, moray bites down on it, and they can bite hard. Yeah. You instinctively pull, right? That's what you're going to do. It, like, a, like touching a hot fire, you just pull, right? Right. And then it just sh shreds, right? Do we have some pictures of this, these animals, Andy? Let's get um, some of these pictures while he's talking about this stuff here. Well, that's a challenge for Andy. But yeah, you gotta you gotta scroll through those. But I, I know that I know there's a picture of a moray in there. I know there's a picture of a lobster. There's a moray I right just, there. I just want people. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a look moray, at that. Right. I just wanted you guys to visualize what Stu was sticking his hand into there, right? So I think that's a that's an urchin above it, right? So you're probably sticking your hand underneath that spiky urchin, which that'll hurt you too, right? Um. Not fatally. <laughs> yeah, it'll hurt though. Like you can get stuck by one of those spikes. It's like the cactus of the sea, right? The, it, it is it, very much so, and uh, I, it's not unusual to have those uh, spines go into my, like my kneecaps and break off and make a little purple tattoo that goes away in a few weeks. <laughs> that happens a lot. But if you see that moray on the top of their mouth, it's it's not just one row of teeth. It's like their whole top of their mouth is lined with teeth. So when you and their teeth are very sharp. So when you pull out, it's, it really uh, shreds it. Jeez.